So far, Ruslan hasn't opened up very much yet. So a little bit of hand speed. He opened up his mouth when he got one jab through there. Well, Provodnikov, uh, you know, has got 15 knockouts uh, in his 22 wins. Bradley only has 12, but Bradley is certainly outboxing him right here. I mean, Bradley knows how to fight inside, catches him with another nice uppercut inside. He has this guy off balance and a little bit, you know, surprisingly shell shocked. And Tim, good defensive fighter as well. Got hit with a light left hand, but then he lands three left hooks with an arm and a right hand. Crashes off the temporal bone of Provedna. Bradley totally outboxing him here in the first two minutes of round number one. As uh, Provednikov comes back with the right hand and then the light left to the ear, another left hand, catches him with the right hand, another left hand. I don't know that, that this is the right fight for Tim Bradley against this guy, you know, to stay inside and just go to war. It's not his fight. It's I mean, not he, his fight. This he, is Provednikov's yeah, fight Yeah, he might be trying to prove something, and that, that could be a problem for Tim, you know, uh, that he wants to, you know, make the fans, oh, he, he took the right hand. Oh, you got to hurt with another right hand. Yeah, you he heard it. He is hurt. He slipped. He doesn't need to fight that. Watch this, folks. See, there's the right hand and the left hook that started. And, oh, Big right that. hand there. Big right hand. And that, you know. He's out on his feet right yep. now. And then he falls forward. He actually falls down. He didn't get pushed down. He fell down. And look at this. He's really hurt. <laughs> Got him up, and he fell back on his heels again. I mean, he was knocked down hard. Yet it wasn't scored as a knockdown because he was pushed. But Provedikov is going to win this round. Bradley's very wide-eyed right now. Almost looks sheepishly. Now, this is his fight out here. Provedikov, the way he... Oh, absolutely. You just see, he just took his tongue out, and I think he just feels that he's going to get this fight. And he may well if Tim continues to make the mistake oh. of fighting in sight. Tim got clipped again by a right hand. He got hit with another right hand. I don't know. Oh, his, hurt. Legs, his, yeah, legs. His, his legs are not great, which means he has no call on his punches to get hit again. Bradley's going to lose this fight, and he might lose in this round. Man. Provodnikov continues to blast away. What an upset this would be. Rosalind comes in. Tim tries to fight off the ropes, but hasn't landed anything. When you're hurt, you like accuracy, your punches. Never mind losing power. Oh. He gets nailed with another left hand, falls forward. I don't think he can recover. His legs are shot, he's arm weary. Look at these shots. Round three. He's getting hurt with almost every time he Parabdika lands, he gets hurt. But I did notice that Rusloff on the on the walk back to his corner, he almost looked like that other guy that we saw in the fifth round. He looked exhausted coming back to the corner, so. Like hey, Vargas. Guys. Like Vargas, yeah. So he, you know. He's ready to go again with a minute and nine seconds to go. Rizlin loads up his shot so big, he wanted to knock him out with a left hook. So he wanted to show something, and his hasn't worked for him. He's almost knocked out in this round. Another big shot. He's been hit three or four times by right hands. As all his hand punches are like arm punches, shoe shine punches, and they don't hurt Rizlin one bit. Now Provodnikov has uh, beat him up oh. in this round. Tim's ready to go again. I mean, here he goes as he falls into the ropes. If this guy lands a couple of shots, Pat will have to stop the fight. Tim just avoiding shots as best he can. There's nothing on his punches. Provodnikov should step back, give him the room, and lower up a shot. Tim out on his feet. Minutes of it, but it wasn't until the third minute of the first round that Provodnikov got really dangerous. Is is the boxing round now? Yep, yeah, that's what he needs to do. This combinations, stay outside, keep him out of range. Mount three and, and he can, out. It's a funny colors because no sooner had you say, say, what is this? This isn't his fight. <laughs> Bang! Gets hit. Oh, I get caught again. Powering with the jab instead yeah. of planning the jab. There you go. Let's, let's, let's loop it a little bit over. Okay. See, he was just pawing that jack guy. Back and forth and squaring up the way he's doing that. I don't like that. Uh, uh, nice yeah, shot yeah, here. Yes, yes. This is good boxing now. Tim knows what he's doing right now. But then he comes back. How's he doing? Nice uppercut. Left hook. Uppercut left hook. And I, now you're working. Now he's doing his work. Stepping around. Not staying in front. Tim Bradley that we know. Fast hands, good boxing, move side to side. Don't get caught on the inside. 
a lot of coaching here tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see a guy that's been down so much, like like yeah. Tim, and been criticized oh. so much. So Preventikov trying to walk him down. Tim showing the hand speed and movement. Look at that, like hitting the speed bag. Now he tried to trade with him, and that certainly didn't work in the second and third round. And he paid. Oh, beautiful left hook by, by Tim there. Championship fight. And here we go. It, he gets him with right hand right there, but he comes right in. Made that mistake in the second and third round. So he's lingering in there, even though he followed up with a nice left hook. Doesn't want to get in any big exchange with this guy. Goes in front him with a glancing right hand. There's a hand speed of Tim Bradley again. Oh. Doesn't want to get in any big exchange with this guy. Goes in front him with a glancing oh. right hand. There's a hand speed of Tim Bradley again. Oh. But he's a guy that's trying to show some power with both hands. Grizzly, the uh, left eye is starting to close up from all the rat of tat tat punches that Bradley has thrown him. Bradley just flat out boxing him right now. Very dangerous on the inside is Provodnikov. Bradley throws punches, only a few seconds remaining, and this is the fifth round, a good boxing round. Obviously, Carlos, you were right. This is Tim Bradley's oh. fight when he fights like this. Got caught with two left hooks. At the very end of the fifth round, but that's a Bradley round. This is round six. Tim Bradley in the first two rounds was in a heap of trouble. Didn't get knocked down, but all but did. This is Tim showing a hand speed again. This is great stuff now for Tim Bradley. Even after four, I got it even after six. Look at this stuff. Let's see where it, where it happens here because it, it's changing right there. Like that, but the only thing that, it, that I see different is that he is moving his, from side to side. He's taking his shoulders uh, from side to side and you know throwing, standing up and throwing combinations. But it feels like Wilson is not punching as hard now as he was in the, in the beginning. Uh, it's still dangerous to, be in, dangerous to be in there that close. Well, he's landing so many more punches than Ruslan is. I and mean, I, I mentioned in the last round that Ruslan's face, while it's not cut, it's really popping. Oh. I mean, look at these. These are solid shots, and Bradley's making you miss. And again, Provodnikov, Bradley's got to fight very, very smart for the rest of the way out. They clip with the left hand, and here's Provodnikov on his assault now. And Bradley does the smart thing. He hangs on and walking back. But was he hurt? He's hurt in this round. Oh, he got hit with the right hand again. Provednikov letting it fly again. Oh, they're just punching it out. Again, this isn't Bradley's fight. This is Provednikov's fight. Look at this guy. And Bradley says, come on, let it go. Look at the end of the round now. The right hand lands. Yep. He lands one back, but he's Tim is hurt at this stage. I don't know, Doc. Man, Man, this is rock and sock and roll. Dangerous, Carlos, when you fall through the ropes like that. Yeah. Pat Russell was right on top of it because he's a great referee. Back into a southpaw stance. Now he's back orthodox, up on the toes. Sliding into his right. Bounces off the ropes and attacks from his limb. This is Master Pacquiao stuff, and this is certainly Master Mayweather stuff. Because he's doing what he knows how to do. He was got him to this point, boxing and using his speed. Perfect example of there. You know, there a, a, might be a cut underneath that left eye now. That mouse underneath the left eye might have popped open. Ruslan Provodnikov to the right of your screen, trying to hunt down the reigning champion, Timothy Bradley, who was favored coming in here and almost lost his title in both the first and second round. Wasn't knocked down, but he was in a heap of trouble. But this is master boxing for Tim, and that's what will take the rest of the way if he's to retain his championship. They, 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 they really uh, talked at the bottom of in the corner because he came out with a lot more urgency in, in, in the attack. Because I think that they told him, you got to step it up because you're, you're losing this fight now. To slide around and try to get at Tim, it doesn't really catch Tim, but this is dangerous place for Tim inside, unless he's throwing. And he's he's so many, oh yeah, he's, he is landing so many more punches, which means if it had to be stopped because of a cut, it's a technical knockout as opposed to a technical decision. Oh. Nice uppercut. That beautiful uppercut by Ted Bradley is teeing off now. Uh, he's, he's hurt this guy now. You can see the legs of Provinikov. He's some kind of tough guy. Right on top of that cut again. 
Oh, because uh, Bradley, Lord knows how many more punches he's landed than Bravinda got. But the styles oh. make fights, and that's why this is a good one. And they and that eye and that cut opened up again. It's bleeding again, and, and it's in a bad spot because that blood is going right into his eye. Watch this. I mean, you can see it right there. Look how bad it is. Three more right on top of it. Closing seconds now of this, the tenth round. Tim taps on that eye again. Would like to land one big right hand on top of it to close out the round. Provodnikov trying to muster up as much strength as he possibly can to land a big blow. Bradley exchanging on the inside, not the way to move oh, this guy. He got hurt. Pay for it. He got hurt again. He almost got tipped over. A lot of time in this round. He's a little loose in the knees and heavier the heel. I'm talking about Bradley. <laughs> I think both of those guys are exhausted. Wrapped up in one to see two finely conditioned machines battling for a oh. world championship. Back and forth in this round it goes. Tim Bradley, he's shown it throughout the course of this fight. He's been busted up for the past two rounds. There's no quitting him. Either wow. one of these guys, what a round of boxing. Oh, but two goodness. guys that are exhausted. That's the guy that's round. I mean, he staggered oh. him, but he got in a lot of trouble in the sixth round and got clipped again and staggered in the uh, tenth, eleventh round, rather. And there's Tim exchanging with him again. This is the heart of a champion that wants to knock this guy out. And he gets hit him again. And see how the legs are. Tim's legs are still okay. He's certainly shown it tonight. And the fight won't be close enough unless Provodnikov can knock him down here in the twelfth round. A Jim Dandy, as they say. Provodnikov is a guy on the assault. Bradley oh. to get clipped and almost fell back into the ropes. He's hurt. He better hang on oh. in the realm of possibility. Absolutely, because Bradley was completely out on his feet, so it very easy could have been two 10-8 rounds. Bradley started this fight and finished it just about the same way. <laughs> Bradley better grab this guy and walk him. And he's fighting him all. He's making a big mistake. He could get knocked out here. He's ready to go. Provodnikov on the assault. Oh, Bradley loads up, right his hand. loads up his shot, gets covered with another right hand, does Bradley. Tim is hurt, reeling around, all but falling down. Finally, he goes down. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, it's in the hands of Jerry Cantu, Raul Caiz, and Marty Dankins. Remember, he was out on his feet twice. Easily could a judge score either one of those first two rounds, or both of them 10-8, in which case the new champion is Provodnikov. Provodnikov on the assault. Bradley oh, loads up right his hand. shot. Loads up his shot, gets covered with another right hand, does Bradley. Tim is hurt, reeling around, all but falling down. Finally, he goes down.